Okay, let's take a look at this weighted average inventory accounting exercise. So we have the following information, right? We've got beginning inventory, 48 units that cost us $40. And then we had three purchases that all came in at different prices. Okay, and when we multiply the units times the cost, times the unit cost, we can come up with the total cost. So what we see is total inventory available was 482 units, $21,174 was the total cost. Now they tell us that the company sells 427 units, okay? So we had 482 available, they sold 427. The selling price was $58. And we're just gonna tackle requirement three C and D which says using the weighted average cost or using the weighted average cost method, calculate the sales revenue and gross profit. Now I'm going to show you the answer um, and we'll discuss rounding it a little bit later. Okay, so what do we know? Well, they gave us $21,174 is the total cost of all inventory available. And if we divide that by 482, that's the number of units of inventory available, we come up with a cost of $43.93. Okay, now I'm taking that to two decimal places. They say round answers to two decimal places. Now, we've got to calculate sales revenue and gross profit. So the number of units sold was 427 units. They gave us that information right there. Multiply that times the weighted average cost that we just calculated, and we're able to calculate what the weighted average cost of goods sold was. We need that number. Next, we take the total number of units sold, again, 427, given to us in the problem. We multiply it times the selling price, which was also given, $58, and we come up with what the total sales revenue is. Now, what we've got to do is subtract out the weighted average cost of goods sold because gross profit is equal to your selling, well, your selling value, right? Your sales less the cost of goods that you sold. And we're using the weighted average method. So that 18,758 is what we would subtract. And when we're done, we come up with a gross profit of $6,007, just simple subtraction here in 89 cents, all answered in two decimal places. Okay, hope you found this helpful.